Look at him go! Hello everybody, it's your boy RM. Welcome back. And today, I wanted to watch a show that was better than Velma. So I watched The Last of Us in hope that I found something significantly better. And I did, actually. It was not too bad. Granted, it was a little underwhelming. And honestly, I found it kind of mid, to be honest. But of course, I only watched episode one. So the show has good potential. But I want to talk about my ideas about episode one as of right now, before the other episodes kind of get in my head and I see stuff. And you might call me late to the party, but that's okay. I'm just going to continue my rant. So, the main issues I found with episode one was, I was going to say, was the pacing, mainly because it was way too long. Way too long for its own good. Mainly because a lot of this stuff, a lot of the parts could have been chopped out and made a much more interesting story. Because, like, for example, the first 10 minutes I found very slow and not really necessary. Granted, you know, some people said it's serviceable. It works very well. It, you know, it must work better. Maybe if you made the movie slower paced and easier to digest compared to the game where it was action, action, action. However, I think the faster pace would have been kind of nicer to see. Because it kind of feels like I was waiting around for something to happen, but it just never did happen. So I was like, mmm. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, next next thing, though, was... It's just like, yeah, but like... And also, I found the end kind of long as well. There was a few scenes where it just didn't feel necessary, to be honest with you. Like, for example, the whole plot about finding the battery... Basically, where what was it? Basically, where Tess gets scammed by a guy who she's trying to buy a battery from because he took her money, didn't give her a battery, and she's so pissed about it. And I'm like, okay, why is this battery important? And then they said, okay, we need this battery because it is important because we need it to find. We need the battery to find jo Joel's brother, and. Which is also a big plot controversy in its first place as well. Because Joel says he doesn't like, they don't, him and his brother are basically kind of, it seems like they have beef with each other. They don't like each other. However, they've talked to each other every single day almost. Or within 24 hours. And Joel hasn't heard from his brother within a day, so he's concerned, hence why he wants the battery. So that doesn't really make any sense, honestly, to my mind. Because, like, if you hate someone, why are you talking to them every single day? It's not like your high school... It's not like it's you and the high school bully where you're stuck in the same area together. You guys are far apart. You're out of eyesight. You're never going to see each other. Or you don't even have to see each other. You guys are full-on adults and you're in different areas. What makes you think that you have to look for them <laughs> or, you know, even interact with them anymore? So it doesn't make any sense. And that's really the main issue with I'm seeing with The Last of Us right now is just... It seems like a lot of scenes are unnecessary, and they also create plot holes in the same area as well. Because it's like, well, I just made this cool scene, and it's like, well, guess what, buckaroo? It is bad, because you just made a plot hole. Like I said, Joel talking about his brother, and it's like, okay, we understand in the game the brother is important to the plot, but like, why? <laughs> it's not, like, that crazy. It's just, it doesn't make any sense. They have them hate each other, but also interact with each other, almost like if they like each other. Hence the necessary, unnecessary plot of the battery, which also doesn't really make any sense, because it's like, you can still visit him without the battery, is that completely necessary? I don't know. <laughs> and that's kind of like where my brain's at, is why, why, is there so, why is there more plot holes than a slice of Swiss cheese has holes in it? It's like, I don't get it. <laughs> However, I want to talk about a few things that I liked. The main thing was I liked the most was mainly, I think it was around the 10 minute mark and then about that 15 minute stretch where they just copied the movie, or I mean the video game, like basically the script for script, basically with like a work around, or I should say like, you know, a nice surprise, a pleasant surprise where it doesn't get us off the plot, but it deviates just slightly from the plot, but gets back on track. And I think that's what they were trying to go with the rest of the episodes too. Like for example, Instead of getting T-boned, you know, <laughs> instead of getting T-boned by, you know, like a truck, they're going, brrr, crash. Instead, they just go, swoop, barely avoid it, and then they continue, but then shrapnel from a plane comes down and just, you know, dunks on, just go, 
Yeah, so it's it's not bad. I like it. <laughs> I like that. That was that was a nice surprise. I was totally expecting a T-bone, but you know what? That was actually nice. And I think that's what they tried to do with all the other episodes. Was they tried to make it make that's just what they tried to do, I think, with the rest of the episode as well. Was just they tried to do standard, you know, a deviate from the plot just a bit, but try to swerve back on. But in reality, it just seems like they just swerve off and they're going off on a different rail. And I say that because I think my least favorite part about it is just how, <laughs> besides the plot holes, is probably Joel as the character himself. I don't find it nice because it just seems like him and Ellie just don't get along too well, relatively compared to the game. And I understand they don't get along well together in the game right away, mainly because his daughter dies. And, of course, over the time, they have to build this daughter-father type kind of, like, relationship. But, like... <laughs> It's really hard to like Ellie when they set her up as the smart character, yet she's seen doing stupid things throughout the entire episode. And it's like, I don't like that at all. It just, I feel like I'm almost trying to watch a Velma at this point, where it's like, someone who thinks they're smart, but they keep doing the stupidest things over and over again. It's just, it feels like hypocrisy at, at its finest. However, that's okay, because I'm fine with a few character flaws. And honestly, her character is a lot better compared to Velma, even though I compared them. But, you know, I'd rather watch her than Velma every day, because at least her snarky comments are actually somewhat good compared to Velma. <laughs> and then the last thing I was going to say, though, was I just didn't care about Joel's character, because he seems way too passive. Because in the video game, he's very stoic. And and that's the thing, though, is, too, is the episode sets him up as a stoic character. They say, oh, I don't think they want to mess with you. You seem, It's like, oh, these sounds formidable. If for some reason they should have added more action scenes with him doing stuff to make it show, like, hey, he's very stoic. He's very cool. You know, you should listen to him. But in reality, it just it falls short, kind of, because it's like, wait, what? Hmm? Hmm? I don't really get it. Because, like, if, if you were to watch this without watching the video game, you don't get that, you don't have that pre-narrative knowledge about how the story's supposed to go. So then it's like, well, I... Okay. Is he? I'd, I'd have to take her word for it, but I just don't see it. And then it also sets up for at the end when he beats up the guard, it just makes it sort of seem like, oh, he's tactically and, you know, calmly, you know, going out there to beat up the guard because we know it's going to happen if he doesn't. Instead, it comes out as, why? Why? You just beat the, you just, <laughs> it just seemed unnecessary. It seems like he broke character, like someone broke him, and I'm like, you're not supposed to be broken. Well, it doesn't seem like it's like, uh, like I understand he's under a lot of stress, but it's like he doesn't break in the game. And I don't think he should be breaking this quickly because I feel like that would be way too quick of an arc to start breaking the character off of episode one. I, I don't I don't know if that's going to be the, the best move out of them all. So I'm not exactly sure where to go with this. However, I will say, though, <laughs> I would at least give it at least a six out of ten because... It's at least watchable. Sure, there's plot holes and stuff like that. But I did like the action scene part, wait, you know, in the middle, which was really good. And I think there's some potential with the show, even if I, even though I have a bit of a worry that they might destroy Joel's character in the process. However, I feel like it's a, it's a good fresh air. I like the designs, the designs of the the side of Sporus. Granted, I don't like how they got rid of the spore part and also prevented the Hollywood actors from wearing gas masks. You all know my policy on gas masks. And honestly, it's kind of disappointing because it just removes a cool threat about the zombies. And also, that's the whole point of cordyceps. They, they really spores, and you're basically making a cordyceps, not a cordyceps. So that's another plot hole for the show. However, overall... It was kind of entertaining, and I did enjoy myself. I, you know, this part where I was like, oh, damn, ooh, yeah, that's nice, and, you know, <laughs> good banter, nice conversation. You know, it's a lot. It's very, it's not bad. I would, I'd, I'd, I don't know if I'd recommend it. Like, I feel like it's one of those shows where I'd watch it, but I wouldn't watch it ever again. I wouldn't want to watch this episode again if I had the chance. I'd watch something else. <laughs> But yeah, that's all I got for today. Like and subscribe. I don't know, comment down below. Maybe you disagree with me. You know what? Everyone has their own opinions, and I'll respect yours if you respect mine. And, um, well, have a good day, people. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> Someone give that guy a Grammy. I love how he slapped the other. Wow, that's funny. <laughs> Look at him go!